Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a nice little market talk video for you guys. Wherever you're at, eating your morning, or morning breakfast with the bagel and the coffee on the trade ride to work, wherever you're at, buckle in, get ready, it's going to be a good one today. Little ones to watch market talk, we have a lot of things to cover today. The market has been moving a lot because of the full game being released to everybody who has pre-ordered the game in terms of the Champions Edition or the Ultimate Edition. Uh, so the game is out basically for a lot of people, not everybody. Still some people will get on the game on Friday and we'll talk more about that as that time comes and as it is applicable. Uh, but the big thing today is ones to watch. And over here on Twitter, I want to look through these guys really quick. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this. You know who these guys are. These are the guaranteed ones to watch items that will be coming out on Friday. Now this, this is the first time I think at least that I can remember, that EA has actually released these to us uh, ahead of time, before we found out at 6 p.m. UK on Friday, um, and that was when we found out that what cards were going out of packs. Um, and this makes it very interesting, uh, as I go to the second page, this makes it very interesting for what we talked about in yesterday's video with ones to watch investing in gold cards. Um, Obviously, people now know who they can invest in, and it's going to be almost guaranteed Like which cards are all in. It is guaranteed, to be fair. Um, and like we talked about in yesterday's video as well, the cards that were guaranteed already that we knew, like uh, Pepe, we knew about him, we knew about uh, Hazard, we knew about Jovic, Holler, Jao Felix, Bisaka, and Joelington. We knew about all of those guys, and I advised you to sell into the hype on Thursday um, with those cards. That's kind of how we're going to have to look at this for all the cards now, um, with the exception of maybe Griezmann and Hazard, because those guys are going to be so high rated, not as many people are going to be able to afford them. Their prices sh should still rise as they go out of packs, because people are going to be coming out of the full game and still want to go out and buy those cards. Uh, maybe even Rodri and Delict as well. We'll have to see what kind of panic selling we see. We'll have to kind of watch that situation. Um, as it comes up closer and talk through some of those things. But again, that's the first thing I wanted to cover today. Ones to watch gold cards. And we'll go back over here to the foot menus and look some of these up, um, especially Rodri. I was really high on Rodri. Obviously, now that we know he's in for sure, um, it changes things a little bit. But I was really high on this guy because I thought he was a fantastic steal at the price that he was. He's still actually at a pretty decent price, 30,000 coins. I bought one at 20. This morning when I tweeted out, he was like 25,000 coins. So he's up a little bit. He actually rose to like 32, 33K when that tweet was put out and it was actually released. So I have a little bit of worry that some of these cards are over-invested now, especially some uh, Thorgan Hazard, I think, today went from like 4,900 coins or 5,000 coins. And I'm pretty sure that he was somewhere, he was above 6,000 coins today. I think he was actually at like 6,500. Now it seems like he's dropped down a bit, um, which is interesting. Very interesting. Down to five, five, seven. Is this still up? Wow, that was up. We'll take a nice little quick snipe there. List him up for five, seven. Take a couple hundred coins. What's going on here? EA, hello? There we go. Maybe uh, take a couple coins right here, you know, maybe like two or 300 coin profit from that. Not much. It is what it is. But yeah, so those wants to watch cards, I think you're going to want to sell those on Wednesday night or Thursday uh, because that's, there's going to be a lot of hype around those cards. Hopefully they rise in the next couple of days. If they don't rise too much, I'm going to be a little bit worried. Um, but I just think that what you're going to have on Friday is a lot of people going to sell those cards even on Thursday. That's why I'm advising you to sell them like late Wednesday night or before rewards maybe on Thursday, maybe after rewards people go out and buy these cards so it could be an opportunity to sell them at a little bit higher. People might go out and invest in some of these gold cards. We'll have to see. But this kind of ruins some of the hype for the ones to watch gold card investing. As we talked about in yesterday's video, a lot of the good coins were made on just the, when it's not guaranteed and you don't actually know who's in ones to watch and you assume that extra amount of risk, uh, like with the Rodri I was talking about or uh, with the Delict and the Brant, you don't know that they're in, so you buy their card and you hope that they get in. When they actually get in, they go up more because nobody has, not as many people have invested. But now, since a lot of people have had the opportunity to invest, things are going to be a little bit different. So that's what I wanted to mention with those cards today. And we're going to be looking at that situation very, very intently over the next couple days because I know a lot of people have invested in a lot of these cards, especially Wamisaka, Zhao Felix, who's very high. 
right now, I think uh, Pepe, Jovic, Holler, and even some of these other guys like Rodri, uh, Lozano, and even Brandt and Benyetter. So we'll talk about that stuff and what exactly to do. Definitely tomorrow, we'll look and see how much those continue to rise up in price. But can, speaking of the market rising up in price, that is what has been going on right now in this game. I'm going to refresh this page. This is where you. This is the market index on Footbin. We go to market up here at the top. You go to the drop down uh, index gold. This is. I love this web page, and I love the way that they made it look up here with like the stock tickers. Uh, makes it look like the real uh, stock exchange, the markets um, in real life, which I think is really cool. But you can see what happens. So this is basically the timeline of Tuesday into Wednesday right now, UK time. So. Um, Basically, what we're looking at here is a pretty substantial rise in the market. We go from 94 points up to 98. Right now, we're still right around 98 points. So the market has risen up a lot. And what that has been, um, why that has happened is basically because people have come onto the game. They've ripped more packs. We've seen a lot of those lower rated cards take hits in price. Um, like you see some of these cards over here. A lot of these cards on the right side are lower rated. Um, like lower rated cards that have been hit with some supply today and have dropped down in price. And a lot of these cards over here you see on the left side are cards that people are using to build teams with. Now Yedlin is Yedlin's kind of a weird one because there's not too many right backs in the Prem. Uh, and if you want a decent one that's pace, that's got some pace, he's kind of your guy. So that might be why he's up a little bit. But you can definitely take a look at a lot of these players and see that there are some deals out there on the market. One that I'm particularly looking at right now is Riyad Mahrez. Still a pretty solid card for an 84 rated. He's got 84 pace, 89 dribbling. He's got the five star skills, the four star weak foot. He's not the paciest guy out on the wing, but he's got 92 agility, 87 balance, great dribbling statistics. So he's gonna feel phenomenal in this game. He was 25,000 coins on Sunday. And if you look at his price today, he has been dropping down 22K. He went to 19,000. He's right now under 20 as well. So this could be a card. Yes, he probably was affected by the um, the release today of the voting uh, for the Gucci headband, St. Maximin, St. Maxime, whatever his name is. So this Mahrez is down to 19,000 coins right now. We'll look at St. Maxime too. Uh, where's this card at? Is he still like 15,000 coins or something like that? Yeah, somewhere around 15,000 coins for this card as well. Uh, but I think you're getting a better card all around with Mares. Yes, this card has better pace. It has good dribbling, so it's going to feel good in game. But Mares has eight better shooting, nine better passing, and actually three better dribbling. So the pace is the big difference between this card and Mares. But Mares technically... I mean, he's Manchester City. He's going to be more popular to the casual FIFA user base than this card will be. And this card's going to get packed a ton. Uh, obviously, he, he could get a once to watch because we had the vote today. But that means his card is not going to be in packs. That means he's going to have an SBC for this card. I'm leery that this card will drop a lot in price as it's low rated. And this card might not. So that's one card that I'm kind of high on right now since it's dropped, you know, Five, six thousand coins already. Some of these cards are pretty low. Sam Umtiti uh, down here as well. What is he? Forty-three thousand coins. He's actually up a little bit. I'm not sure why Footbin says that he's down. That's why you have to be. You have to pay attention to these graphs. Serge Gnabry at thirty-two though. That's ooh thirty thousand coins for Serge. That is a good-looking deal. What is what is Sancho right now? What is Mr. Sancho right now? Can I get this to load, please? Jaden Sancho, thirty thousand coins for Gnabry. 35 for Sancho. Sancho is dropping like a rock. Now, part of this might be due to the fact that he has a that he has the loan card, and basically everybody has this card for seven games. So that's kind of working against us right now. If you've invested in this card, he's going down a lot, which is crazy. I did not expect this card to be dropping down this much. 35,000 coins. This is definitely going to have to go up, in my opinion. Uh, he's got the hype as being a five-star skiller, four-star weak foot on the right side. Um, he's got medium-low work rates, but he's going to feel great in game again because of his agility and balance stats. He is English. He's got the hype. And we're going to have some Bundesliga links coming on to the game this week, possibly today with the release of a center attacking mid Coutinho in form uh, and a Lewandowski player of the month card on Friday. So if you're somebody who wants to build a Bundesliga team, I think this guy's still got a good shot at rising because People are going to end up using those loans completed. They're going to end up getting like using all the contracts and those loan cards. Um, and even though you can use those loan cards and friendlies and not their contracts won't 
be affected. People still play rivals. They want, to, they want him in their foot champ squads, squad battles, and every other mode. You have to use contracts, and that's only for friendlies mode where the contracts don't work. So I really like this guy. I mean, he, look at this graph, dude. He dropped from, he was at 54k. Where was he on Xbox? Xbox, he was 30, 45k, even down to, to 34k right now. So I think this has to rise back up. I mean, if I'm way out of line here, please tell me in the comments down below. But this drop to me seems a little bit absurd. Um, I know he's 84 rated. He probably got hit with some supply today. But he is, you know, a pretty good right winger. His stats are pretty solid. And uh, he's going to feel very good in the game. I think a lot of people are going to want to use him. So that's another card that I can see on the market that is kind of low right now. But if we go back to the index, wall, the index gold and look at a lot of these card prices that have risen up today. Again, it's a lot of these higher rated cards. And Golo Kante, 335,000 coins. You can't see what I'm looking at right now. There we go. 335. So he's up. He's, he was down a little bit, but he's they're rising back up again. So this is just basically what I talked about in my videos last week was this is what you're going to see. You're going to see people opening packs on the Tuesday for the pre-order release. It's a great time to get in on the gold card investments, build a team. And from here on out, I expect these cards to continue to rise up and up and up especially for these higher rated cards. Douglas Costa, 27K, 25K right there. Some stuff seems to be dropping a little bit overnight right now. A couple thousand coins, not much. But he was almost 30,000 coins. You can see right here he's 28K, 29K uh, at, a, at a certain point this weekend as well. So again, today was almost a day for a lot of cards, especially for some of the higher rated ones, the meta, the OP cards. Today was a great day to honestly get those in your team if you had a second chance and maybe getting some cards in your team that you didn't before because they continually rose like maybe a Conte or maybe even a Griezmann today. I think Griezmann's price has been kind of all over the place today. Uh, he's up now, man. He's 300K now. Wow, he's 300K. Uh, he was like 250 at one point today, but I think the ones to watch hype has gotten that card's price up. Um, and yeah, that was the big news for the day, the ones to watch hype. And then I want to mention team of the week stuff again one last time. Uh, Coutinho, I mean, obviously this video is going to be going live before the team of the week gets dropped, but there's a lot of investing in team of the week cards. So if you're somebody who bought a gold card that's expecting it in the team of the week, you're going to have to kind of evaluate that price. Coutinho at 40K right now, I think is a little bit high. Um, so if you have any of these cards, if you're in the money, I would sell into the hype. I don't think this is a card that a lot of people are going to want to use in their teams. And I think that's where a lot of the, the demand would come from if people wanted to buy his card out of packs. Basically the same situation with Bernardo Silva. I think he's somewhere around, is he around 40K as well? Bernardo Silva is somewhere around 40K. He too was lower 30s, I think, before his uh, he had the great game this weekend. So that's a card that I would possibly look at dishing out before getting a Team of the Week announcement because after that you might see some panic. Uh, but then, yeah, I mean, we get a new Team of the Week tomorrow and that's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, to see which cards go out of packs. Not that there will be in, any great investments with that because a lot of people have already invested in those cards. But it'll be interesting to see how those Team of the Week cards affect other cards on the market and how those Team of the Week cards will react because they're going to be different. This Team of the Week 2 is going to be different than Team of the Week 1 because Team of the Week 1 did not have the entire user base on the game with packs with the uh, first, the you know, the release to the world, the full release day, Friday of FIFA, when a massive amount of the user base gets on the game. That's going to be very important as well. But again, one last look at Team of the Week 1. If you're watching this video before Team of the Week 1 goes away, let's refresh the page to get a, the most accurate reading of prices. De Jong 167, Tiger Fico at 34. If you want any last-minute pickups from this Team of the Week, Tammy at 11K looks great. A lot of these discard informs, I think, are just a put, put one in your club and stash it. Um, any mass investments from this team of the week though, um, I think it's got to be maybe Aurier. I'm a bit skeptical about him in terms of the possibility for a Trent Alexander-Arnold in form. It would be a lot pricier than this Aurier card, but it would be some more competition. Uh, Taglifico I think looks pretty good. A lot of people like that card. De Young looks fantastic to me. He's getting a once to watch card. Um, and then uh, yeah, I mean Mertens looks good. Benzema looks pretty good. I've heard a lot of good things about this card. Um, but Delaney around 50k looks pretty solid as well. And these cards aren't going to have a type of supply that some of the other team of the weeks are going to have in the future since the full game was not out. So that bodes well for a lot of these cards if you're looking at a last minute investment before these 
do go out of packs. But again, if you're looking to invest in stuff or if you're holding stuff like, like me, I think I have some Rodgers, one Rodgers right now uh, on my transfer list. Yeah, I got a listed item. I'm just listing it for lazies. have a couple hazards that I'm listing for lazies as well. I would highly recommend doing that. List stuff for lazies uh, just in case you might get a bite. Um, but then uh, just wait. Just don't be – I bought this Rodri, I think, at 26,000 coins. Don't be in a hurry to sell it just yet because those cards are going to start creeping up again into later this week as we see more people going and buying and investing in those cards. And the market in general just start to – just continue to pick itself up as more people get on the game, more people open packs, and more people get coins. And one thing I will say is keep an eye on SBC type stuff. So I was looking at Podolski. Um, you saw Podolski on my transfer list. I think right now he's around 3,000 coins. So 3,000 coins for Podolski. This card fluctuates actually a lot because he's needed for some of the advanced SBCs. When there's less people on the game, a lot more of these cards get up. It's uh, get on the game. It's one of those things where you can kind of buy, maybe buy a couple at night, and especially when there's not as many packs being opened, like a day on Wednesday, like today, could be an opportunity for this card to rise because people are going to be doing SBCs, trying to get more coins in their club. So the SBC stuff, you might see some rising in that too. I have some of those investments on my transfer list in my club as well. So you can look for some of those cards to rise up as well. But again, I think the general theme here is a lot of the market's gonna go up because a lot of people are just getting out of the game. They're getting coins through SBCs, opening packs, and they're starting to build teams, play rivals, play squad battles. And then we we do have another big thing coming on uh, one day and four hours from now, from when I record this video, Thursday, division rivals, rewards. That's a big time on the market as well. So I wanna, be, wanna get you guys ready for that uh, tomorrow for sure we'll be looking into some of that but in, but in that meantime continue flipping cards there's still a lot of cards out there that you can flip be careful with the lower rated stuff I will say that like uh, like a guy like Yedlin I know he's in demand because he is one of the paciest right backs in the prem but the man is what 76 rated 76 rated is a pretty low rating for a card like this he's going to get packed a ton he's going to continue to get packed in SBC packs and all kinds of stuff like that. So I would be careful. If you have a team that's got a lot of these guys in it, maybe a guy like Saar as well, a right winger in the Prem. He's got 94 pace. Is uh, Yeah, there he is. I would just be careful with a lot of these guys. They've dropped a lot already. Wow, Saar is under 4K. They're just going to continue to drop. A lot of these guys are going to continue to drop. Even a guy like Joe Gomez. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy uh, Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez. Where's he at? Let me get this card for you. This is a very popular card. He's just continually dropped. He's actually up a tiny bit right now. Up like a thousand coins or so, but 4,000 coins, he was 6K like two days ago. I continue to see this card dropping in the next couple of days just because it's low rated. It's gonna get packed a lot and people are gonna upgrade past him pretty fast because you can go out and buy Socrates for like 10,000 coins, 4,000 coins to 10,000. That's not that big of an upgrade. So I did wanna mention that to you guys as well but it's just been a nice little market talk hopefully you enjoyed it if you have any questions drop them in the comments below like the video if you enjoyed it of course and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out